All right, my friends, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of our Aston Martin career mode. And it is going beautifully. Um, right, last episode is linked above. Go check it out. It was a really, really good race, really good episode. Um, we are really competitive this season. We're currently sitting second in the drivers, uh, sorry, in the um, in the constructors. Um, and I believe we actually, we might be sitting second. Yeah, we're sitting second in the drivers as well. Max, unfortunately, is pulling away. Um, he's having another stonking season. I think he, I think um, Leclerc won it the first year and then Max won it last year. And Max looks like he's on for it again this year. They just, that Red Bull is a rocket ship. It really, really is. Um, rear wing completed um, last time out. So... We've got four days to the race, um, so I think I might have to do, uh, the issue you have is, if we have an accident and we smash the rear wing up, we don't have another one. Just get it done. Get it done. Right. In stool. Well, we do still need a couple, so, yeah, we... <laughs> We'll bang them on, but it's just so we've got spares, basically. Right, so, the car is looking uh, pretty good. Engine cooling is the uh, is the only worry. Um, that is just for Hungary, though, by the way. But, yeah, the car's looking, looking pretty good, you know. Uh, car parts development. So, we've got another one that's going to finish in uh 23 days right so i'm just gonna do because I, I know we haven't got a lot left like um so i want to have a look so side pods the words dear dealt with the engine calling i yeah front wing does the brake we're re i think we're i can't remember we're researching the front wing the chassis chassis does engine calling and the side pods. So the chassis. Yeah, so they're the most underdeveloped part. Sort of bloody part five. Part four, four. So yeah, chassis or the side pod. What do we do? Yeah, look, we haven't got a lot basically left. I'm going to throw it all at this until we get that renewed. But yeah, it goes up a bit. It's not massive, the improvements. But it depends how long this takes really to develop it on whether or not I do it or not 40 days 31 days so this would be finished during the mid-season break I believe yeah if I did it normal I did that you get a bit more expertise still for yeah I'm gonna do that we've got the money to do it I want to get all of these to spec free I'm going to do this one because we, we've just got that money there at the moment. So I'm going to do that one down to 44 million, call it. But that will be a really big improvement to the team. We've got to carry on growing this stuff. So let's get our race prep done. Um, going to say Q2. Um, I'm going to say qualifying. I think we're going to get a grid penalty. So I'm actually going to reduce this to 10th just for this race. Um, fastest lap, no, even though we've got it the last few races. Um, finishing streak, top 10. Yes, I feel very safe in the knowledge we can do that now. Um, so yeah, there's some potential rewards here. I am actually pretty confident I can do that with both cars. Yes, that's a bold statement to make, but I am. I am very confident in my drivers and in my team at the moment. The Hungaro ring is a buzz with excitement as Formula One returns to Hungary for another round. We first came here in 1986 after construction on this purpose-built motorsport facility was completed. The Hungaro ring is one challenging succession of corners and turns. With few straights, it's affectionately known as the go-kart circuit. Drivers will have to find a proper rhythm to make the most of the layout. And for cars, low-speed downforce will be paramount. We're about halfway through the season now, and there's still plenty of time for everything to change. All eyes are on the teams and how they tackle the rest of the year. So, without further ado, 
Let's get started. Right, here we go then. Um, a nice dry weekend. No rain to worry about, which I am rather happy about, my friends. Lovely javelin. Right, let's crack on with practice. Nothing to talk about. I just want to have a look at this. Whoops, yeah. wrong one. And yeah, we might be taking some penalties. Right, gang. Uh, again, we had new car parts written on this, didn't we? I struggled with the setup. I definitely think this, they, they go hand in hand. I definitely, definitely do. Um, right, so I need to take a look at this. 66%. 72 yeah, we're definitely very soon going to be looking at new stuff, I think. Oh, hold on. Oh, nice. We've got a pretty new gearbox there, though. Um, yeah, we're definitely, definitely going to be looking at some new parts soon. Right. Um, I tweaked both cars, and I don't know if it was wise to do so. Yeah, I just don't know if it was wise. Um, we're going to find out together, though, if it was or not. Um... Yeah, but let's uh, let's get some laps uh, punched in, shall we? Oh, damn it! Damn it! Traffic. Let's hope it don't affect us, eh? Let's hope it don't affect us. There we go. Ocon, he kind of met the traffic in the right place. A one fourteen, and. Yeah, two one four trains, one with fourteen threes, basically. You know what? Stroll in that Alpine. I don't know how he's been doing in the races, but I do see his name a fair amount in qualifying, and he's doing all right. You know, he does seem to be doing all right. Yeah. Okay, and all the way to zero. I didn't the send them zero. out again. I just didn't see, see the point. I'm try, really trying to look after the engine units and whatnot. Everybody goes a lot quicker, but we're still in there, safely in there as well. All right, so I'm going to do what I always do. Um, yeah. And uh, basically go out on that slightly worn tyre first and punch a lap in. Now, I'm going to say something. Ocon's uh, setup has gone very nice and uh, Alonso seemed to have stayed where it was um so yeah a big improvements on Ocon's setup going into qualifying but unfortunately Alonso is running at uh, an all right setup don't get me wrong it's not terrible but it you know it could have been better right we're going to get a nice clear run for both drivers these are the slightly worn tires that we're on and uh I think Stroll's done the same thing you know yeah, Stroll has done the same thing. Well, it looks like everybody's kind of doing that. So, all right, fair enough. Um, and we've set our laps. Alonso goes quicker with a 1.14.2. Uh, do we go again? Oh, I just don't know. Signs is definitely going to go quicker. Signs is, uh, signs is one to watch. But other than Signs... Do I fear anyone down there? I don't think I do. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to take a chance. And basically what I'm trying to do, gang, is save the soft tyres because I know this is a pretty quick racetrack and I think the soft tyres could come into play. So Hamilton goes a bit quicker, but not nowhere near as quick as us. Um, yep, Leclerc... Uh, I think Bottas might have gone. Oh, Ocon. Ocon is safe. So, by running so few laps, we're going to have really, like, we're going to have a lot of soft tyres that are in a good, con a good condition. I don't know. I just, I, for some reason, I just feel like that's going to be important. Right, so Signs is going out. On a fresh tyre. But yeah, basically this is what we've got. Two completely fresh sops. So, um, yeah, that's going to be nice. Um, I'm going to get a lap in, actually. Burn some fuel. And, um, yep, see where we are, basically, after the lat. See where we are after that. 
God, Alondro, is he going to hit traffic? I think he might hit a bit of traffic. Oh, come on, get past Bottas. Nice, Ocon. Nice. Right, if we could just navigate Leclerc, that would be great. Um, we're on this flying lap. Ah, oh, he's held us up. He's held us up there. And that lap is in the bin. Absolutely in the bin. Um, right. Um, Ocon. Yeah, absolutely in the bin. We are going to have to go again. We are going to have to go again. Um, geez, Alonso. It's a really poor lap. Now, this could be down to the power units, though, gang. We do need to remember that. Um, I think other teams might be taking like new power units and whatever now, so that's interesting in itself, isn't it? Um, we've got that to think about. But yeah, uh, can't believe how quick they are. Cannot believe how quick they are. They're so quick. Um... Have we improved? Have we improved? I don't think we have. Don't think we have. No. Oh, Alonso it gets better and Ocon doesn't. But yeah, all the cars I expect to be faster than us are. Right, well, here we go, gang. Um, as you can see, setup is not looking too great, to be honest with you. Um, I think a lot of the uh, reasons for our struggles could be the conditions of uh, things. Um, we never took that penalty for the uh, gearbox, in my opinion. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't think we did. Uh, but yeah, uh, we are looking a bit beat up. I'm gonna be honest. I think we are gonna probably have to take some heavy penalties um next race potentially yeah like 72 percent is very low on the engine condition but we'll run it for this race um we're going into the mid-season break and we can make those decisions then right soft soft go soft tire hard or medium hard hmm. yo know what i think we do the medium hard strategy right that works so well and we keep the soft tyres. I know I basically save soft tyres for the race, but I think we do that. Because he does look after his tyres better, and it just get the overlap in on the tyres. Um, what I'm hoping for is a safety car or two in this race that's what i'm really hoping for to be honest with you gang and i think that is probably the only way we win uh, or get on the podium sixth and seventh is good but as we see in qualifying we did lack pace what overcast day for the drivers who've now taken position on the grid looking at fernando alonso here they might not be in the top three spots but things could change fast once the race gets underway there's the second Aston Martin. With a top 10 position on the grid, this race could really go either way for them. Everything's been building to this. And here we go with the Hungarian Grand Prix. Right, let's see what we can muster. It's Wasn't the greatest out. qualifying and session for us, go. but we, we do tend to be a lot more consistent on race day, so... Yeah, let's uh, let's see what we can do, shall we? Not a good start for Leclerc there. That's Alonso it. gaining a position, hopefully going into turn one. Uh, not quite. They're going to get it back by the looks of things. Looks like Aston have just gained a race position. Um, but what are we looking at tyres-wise? So there are some soft tyre runners. Wow. Okay, amazing. I did not see that coming, to be honest with you. I did not see that coming. Um, Bottas and Verstappen with the cars up here on the softs. Everyone else has gone with the medium. It'll be interesting to see what strategy they go with um, in the race. 
Right, Alonso looks like he got it done. And it looks like Ocon got it done on the Ferrari as well. So very, very good job from the boys. In the green cars. Aston Martin with a great play there. Right. They've moved up a place. I'm waiting for that to go into the 70s. There we go. And always, once it goes into the 70%, I uh, ease it back into neutral. And then we kind of just use it as we kind of go along in the race. Um, yeah. Right. So, Bottas, Verstappen on the soft tyre. They're going to want to get ahead of those medium runners at the front and try to use the pace of that tyre. But that ain't going to be easy. Already we're kind of being left for dead by the front runners. Uh, we've just run them wide a little. I'm still okay, so I don't think it was too bad. Um, yeah, they're already a second ahead. So actually, what I'm going to do is down this straight in a minute, I'm going to deploy the energy just to try and catch up you a little. You can use energy. Use energy. You can use energy. Just to close them in a bit, because okay, once DRS opens, we we, we want to be we want to be within the DRS. We really do. So and we'll deploy it again in a moment. All right, let's just try, try, energy, try, 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 try to uh, pull them in. Okay, copy. Just want to get close. Yeah, DRS is DRS active. Will be active. Right. So, yeah, we haven't quite got it done, and I don't think we will. All right, well, they're probably going to get away, those cars in front. And that's just one of those things. Um, we don't really have the pace this race weekend, for whatever reason. And, uh, yeah, a fifth and a sixth position at the end, with the way qualifying went, I, I wouldn't be sad. <coughs> and do you know what? It's mad. Ocon's setup is better than Alonso, so you would expect him to have a bit more about his car, be a bit more in tune with it, but Ocon just gets the job done. Uh, sorry, Alonso just gets the job done. It's why I'm really considering keeping him on for another year next year. Because I would hope that, you know, car four will be better than car three. Um, the reg changes this year have not been that damaging. We've got a weird point system for next year. And we've got a 5% deficit on a lot of the parts and whatnot, um, but they're not too damaging. So, yeah, it's interesting next season. Not, I don't think, like, regulations-wise so far, there's just not much of a change from this season. So, if that's the case and we carry on developing the car as the season goes on and we do enough research and we're ready for next year, we'll be in a really good place. But like even these guys back here, look, they're clearly all going on light and like reserving the tires a bit. Um, something happened there. Russell, Russell must have uh, had a bit of an incident. Like yeah, we will check that Let's out take a look. because now, we all went past him. Oh, here. he was running P2 as well. Oh dear, he was running P2. Uh, all right, Verstappen's in. Verstappen is in. We've gone past Bottas because he's on that soft tyre and he's struggling. Um, we've gone flying by. I'm a little worried about our medium tyre and how it's gone off. I'm going to be honest with you. More so Alonso than uh, Ocon, but I am a little worried about it. Uh, um... I'm just going to drop that back to light just for a little while. Just for a bit. Just see if I can just regain a little something on people. Yeah, they're going to go flying by it. See, this is the issue. You can't really, if you want to stay with and keep the pace. There we go. Archon up to P2. He's looking strong. Leclerc's there with us. So it's Ferraris and Aston Martins at the top at the moment. But uh, yeah, pit windows are going to be coming up. And uh, yeah, we'll find out. There we go. We're into the pit window. Oh, Fernando Alonso. Right. 
Um, when do we push? That's the thing. When do we go for a little bit of a push to just literally muller what's left of the uh, medium tyre and uh, try and get a jump on those hard tyre runners? If they're taking those odds to the end, they're going to be battered by the time they get there, aren't they? I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to pit again onto the soft tyre at the end. I really wouldn't. Um, right. So, I think... Oh, lovely work from Alonso there. Lovely work. He's going to go all the way around, I think, Alonso, and be in front of uh, Ocon. Right, we're going to go aggressive with uh, Alonso. Just for a couple of laps. And really just use what's left of the life in this tyre. I'm going to push the fuel as well, just a little bit for both. But yeah, we're kind of in that... We're in one of those areas again where... Um, yeah, he will pit next lap, uh, Alonso. So I think once we go around and he is in to be pitting, we will push the tyres for uh, Ocon as well. Right, so we'll just return that to standard. Yes, so open, hard tyre, pit, aggressive. Okay, copy, Lonzo is currently leading the Grand Prix. Well, I think Ocon's about to take the lead of the Grand Prix, but that, a lot of this is uh, because of pit stops that have just happened. Um, so, yeah, we're going one lap longer with uh, Ocon. I'm actually going to push the fuel on Ocon's. See if he can get away a little. Um, and then, yeah, Alonso will be coming in at the end of this lap. So let's put that on standard, just so we don't mess it up. I think Leclerc's gone in as well. So yeah, we're running very long, aren't we, with um, with Ocon? But I think we need to just basically give this lap all the juice and see what we can do. Verstappen is fourth, and I think he will leapfrog us, to be fair. He's he's pretty close. Um, but yeah, we, we're giving this a good go. And we're really, really hammering it. Ease that off. Ease that off. And ease that off. Because we are going to come in. Uh, I don't think we've got enough time to like leapfrog anybody. We might end up coming out in about fourth place here. Uh, can we get out before Russell Leclerc? Uh, just about. Oh my God, fourth. Ah, uh, Russell just overtook us. Right, okay. That's not the worst place to be. Ocon's up the third. He overtook a couple of people. Like but Bottas is out on his own, and Sainz is out on his own. Bottas, though, 78% on the tyre, and Verstappen in seventh on 76% on the tyre. I, I genuinely think they're going to come in and put like softs on. Have just gained a race position. Yeah, I really do think they will come in and put softs on. Uh, there's a crash on the track. Uh, yeah. There's been a crash. Sounds like a single car. Roll. Wow. He's into the pits as a result. Okay. okay and Ocon is the man we're sort of... Copy coasting along with at the minute yeah his race is over wow the red balls are quite far back today I feel like they've got it wrong something something's happened with their strategy today Bottas is leading he's caught signs up it's an unbelievable effort really um, we've got Russell in here with us but yeah Bottas is the um, interesting one for me Mercedes moved up a place now Russell's pulling away. How did he manage to do that? Here we go. DRS. Use the DRS. Use everything. Right. Um, 
Yeah, Bottas and Sainz have almost come back into play. We're almost just traveling along with Russell here, who their tires have gone off a lot quicker. Yeah, we've got a really nice looking tire with uh, Ocon, to be fair. Who has kind of got stuck in fifth position, but it's nice and close, and uh, there's definitely going to be opportunities. Nice. Right, what are Verstappen and Bottas going to do? Are they taking these to the end? Ocon is going along really nice at the minute. Really, really nice. Really smooth. And, uh, yeah. Come on. Let's see what we can do. Alonso's going along quite nicely as well. He's in sixth position. Not mad at what he's doing. I think he's, uh, he's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, we're in a really interesting part of the race here. Really interesting. And, uh, yeah, our tyres are looking really nice compared to signs. Really nice. Um, probably not enough, you know, but, but good enough. Good enough. Might be able to push towards the end of the race, that's the thing. But Russell, all of a sudden... That 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 um, Mercedes, it's got some weird power. I watch it happen all the time. All of a sudden, it will just catch us up. What does he do? Deploy the ERS or something? He must do. He must do. Yeah, look, they've all caught us up all of a sudden. I just don't understand it. It's a race position game. Don't from understand Mercedes. it. No obvious mistakes from us, you know. No obvious mistakes. Right, we're going to bang this into overtake. I don't think we're close enough. Oh, shit. He's managed to pull away. To the point where, like, he had a second. Oh, and Ferrari just right, there we go. Bottas has gone in. Verstappen's gone in. Joe's gone in. Right, there are 22 laps to go. And yes, they've gone on the medium. With 22 laps to go. Hmm. That is interesting, isn't it? That is interesting. Right. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Let's see Someone's what we can wide. do then. The medium tire will be fast. But how fast? How fast will it be? We have caught signs up. We are right on the back of him. Right, ease off on that now. Alright, DRS and Ocon is race leader. Right, okay. We're up there with signs. I think the traffic is helping us a little bit here. Do you think the traffic is helping us a little bit here? All the back markers. Look, look, Russell, all of a sudden, he found some pace again and he closed the gap. Ferrari, advance Crazy. The race position. Crazy. Right. This is so interesting, this race. It really is. So interesting at the moment. Like Alonso's going along quite nicely. He's got an 18 second gap to Bottas, but he's on that medium tyre, which will, you know, probably at this point be very strong. Um, we've had a crash on track. Confirm. DRS cancelled? No? Oh, and that's a crash! Oh, we'll take, take a look. It's been really, now, like, not too much for us to hands. watch, really. Um, wow. There you go. Off. See you later. So, Alonso is on his own. And Ocon is up there with... Um, signs basically going for the, the win that's going to be the big thing 12 laps to go we're not okay on fuel we are we're fine we're fine on fuel let's not worry about that we are fine on fuel we will get these cars to the end right here we go here we go use that DRS and don't get in the way back marker and there you have it. Right, we've got back markers to navigate here. 
Let's hope they move out of the way and don't cause any trouble or any problems. Have just gained a race position. We've had a crash. Okay. Yellow flag. Yellow flag. So. Okay, copy. How bad is it? Gasly's had a crash this time. Okay, so there we have the LP. Right, he's in there, Gasly, with the Red Bulls. Oh, wow. And there we see the That's crash. a crazy crash, to be fair. How has he managed to, like, do that there? Well, I'm actually going to leave the fuel for a bit because it keeps saying uh, we're not going to make it to the end. There's 11 laps to go. Uh, we're going to deploy. I'm going to deploy here because I need to get past these bat markers. We need to get out of the way. Yes. Yes, he kind of helped me out a bit there. He helped me out a bit. <laughs> he got in the way. I think the deploy kind of helped us as well. Um... Right, Alonso, you're being closed down by Bottas, but is it just too much to do in 10 laps? Where are... Is that a lock -up? Oh, um, signs locked up. Where are your tyres at? 74%. Huh. Okay, we are kind of out here on our own, gang. Um, really concentrating on Ocon at the moment. Really, really concentrating on him. 2.3 seconds up the road to Russell, who honestly has just had much better kind of race craft, in my opinion, than the Ferrari drivers anyway. He looked very good. Verstappen's just set the fastest lap. He's up to seventh. 10 seconds now to Alonso. Alonso has closed signs down as a result of that little accident that he had, though. Right, come on. Come on, Ocon. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Get us, uh, get us across the line, mate. Let's just burn a bit of this off. I have got excess fuel, to be fair. Oh, he's closing me down. Deploy that energy. Um, he is closing me down. It's not good. And we are running out of energy as well, so that is a bit of a worry. Oh, is he going to have enough about him to get this done, though? Where are his tyres at? They are very, very close to mine, aren't they? Um, oh, God. I'm worried. I am worried. Um, Right, we're going to up this a bit for a couple of laps. Come on, let's just push these tyres. See what we can do. And I'll harvest a bit of energy as well. We don't have a lot. Pushing the fuel. Pushing the tyre. Trying to get some energy back. It's 1.2 seconds. Oh, no. Please don't do this. Bat markers, come into play, please. Come into play. Alright, I'm going to have to deploy. I'm going to have to deploy here. We're going to have to use the juice. Deploy, 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 deploy. Right, go straight past these bat markers and hope they get in the way. Hope they get in the way. Here we go. We might get in the way. Here we go, it's back to two seconds. Lovely, put that back balance. Shit. Have enough fuel, please, for the last lap. Please have enough fuel for the last lap. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it, gang. As long as there's no mistakes from Ocon on the last lap, we're going to win the Grand Prix. We've really hammered the tyres right at the end. But we had a bit of juice in them. We had a bit of juice in the tyres, and I felt like we could do it. And um, this is a brilliant, brilliant race by Esteban Ocon. It really is. It's a fantastic race. Um, got to get past the bat markers. Hope they don't cause me any problems, as they look like they might a little bit. Come on, move out of the way. Lovely job. Get it done. Uh, Fernando Alonso ended up his three seconds behind signs. I'm actually going to jump in with him because we have a bit of a problem with Bottas behind us. So yeah, let's jump in with um with uh, Fernando. I'm going to go aggressive for this last lap. 
really use all the juice, use everything we've got. We will jump back to Carlos as he, uh, sorry, to Esteban, as yep. he crosses the line. But I just want to stick with Alonso just for a minute. Um, here we go, just to make sure, you know, because I kind of ignored him the entire race. So busy up front with Ocon. Um, and there we go. Ocon is about to round the final corner. And it is an unbelievable drive. An unbelievable drive from Esteban Ocon, who takes the win in Hungary. Brilliant job. Brilliant job. Get in there. And we're just going to go back standard there. And he's got enough of a lead now. And uh, Alonso takes fifth. It's another brilliant finish. It's another brilliant race. We go into the mid-season break in such a good position. This is a performance to remember from Esteban Ocon. Extraordinary. This podium is a true recognition of everyone who's been working so hard for this result. And there's no denying that the Frenchman deserves this result. He was absolutely brilliant. You've got to say it was a solid drive from all three of them up there. A fantastic showcase for Formula One. There you go, gang. What a bloody race that is. And especially from Esteban Ocon. Um, Jesus, what a drive from him. Uh, George Russell, to me, is proving uh, what a fantastic driver he is. And we kind of mentioned a while back he was one I was going to look at. Not at the end of this season, but at the end of next um, we might go sooner if Alonso doesn't sign on. But as things stand, Alonso is second in the drivers on 176 points. Points dropped by Max today. And uh, Esteban Ocon gets himself up to fifth position on 132. If we move on to the constructors, oh my god. We are 69 points off of first. We are still just ahead of the Ferraris, but pulling out a big old gap to Mercedes at 35 points. I genuinely just think Red Bull got it completely wrong in this race weekend. But uh, this is proving to be a quite unbelievable season. Right, gang, so it is the mid-season break. So uh, we've got our targets and whatnot, where we're at and whatever. So target was fourth. We're currently second, so we're smashing that. Long-term objectives for, for 2026 was to score podiums in 25% of the season's races. And we've already kind of done that. Eight of six. Um, yeah, we still got three seasons remaining to do that, but we've managed to do it already. Um, and as far as the team rating is concerned, that's going up. Ball confidence is high. Got a team bonus. Looking very good. And so next time it will be a spa. Um, what I am going to do quickly is take a look at this. I can't remember where it told me to put it for Ocon. I think it was on adaptability and I am going to throw it on there. Everything else is pretty good, isn't it? Um, it's so smooth. So smooth. Such a smooth driver. Um, but yeah, I don't think Alonso's going to get much better because I was looking at this and it was like um, experience points to next development point, 816. And then this was what he gained from the race and in practice. So yeah, it's just going to take ages to get, you know, points for him now. But it's no real surprise. He's a 43 year old driver at the end of the day. Um, it's so interesting to me that like he's still kind of going strong. He's already surpassed the points that he had last season. Jeez, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Esteban, let's take a look at what he did last year. Um, 62 points is all he got. He's on 132. Oh, well, there you go. There you go, gang. It has been a really, really good season. Um, 
Yeah. In season one, I never in a million years thought I would be sitting here in season three, second in the drivers. But that's where we are. This is this is something special. Like, share, subscribe, do all of the usual stuff, my friends. I am off to the mid-season break now. I'm going to go get this car sorted out and ready for the last uh, bunch of races. But until next time, stay safe, stay humble. See you all later.